Hey, what's up, everybody? So it seems that the talk around this scene right now is about two kernel vulnerabilities that we have seen in the PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation 4, with the very first one being this vulnerability, which was reported by the flow and was worth $10,000. Now, this is more than likely a kernel-based exploit here, and it does state here in the summary it is possible to cause a kernel stack free in the syscall located just right here. Now, I talked about this in the last version of PlayStation Homebrew News, so I won't waste much of your time with this. But for this vulnerability, this will be for the PlayStation 5 only, and it will go up to 10.40. So anything beyond that, if you have a 10.60, then you're probably not going to get any benefit from this. Now, like with any of these vulnerabilities, it takes a while before we have determined whether or not it's going to be useful or not. And right now, the verdict is still out. Now, the much more interesting one that is making its rounds right now is this post here by Zecho Shell, and he posted a pacemen.com link and it just stated double free, and it has PS4. Now, if you go ahead and you take a look at that link, and you just scroll down through the page here, you will probably not be able to read most of it, and that is okay, because this is the exploit proof of concept. And so down here at the end, it does state whether or not it achieved it or if it failed. Now, we saw from Zeko, he posted over here on Twitter a copy of this that had been running. And right there, you can see that double free was achieved. Now, he went on to state that, okay, for those of you who still don't believe this is a real kernel exploit, there was an encrypted message posted a couple of months ago the key was posted on April 1st, and it allowed to decrypt the message, which was a POC to the AIO exploit. It is currently being implemented in Lua, and it can effectively be implemented in WebKit to bypass 9.00 pin drive usage altogether. Now, he does state here that it does work on both the PS4 and the PS5. So for those of you that just saw the PS4 here, which is what I noticed when I first saw this, it is good to know that this is going to work for both the PS4 and the PS5. And it says, and also on both of the systems, it was patched on the most recent firmware possible. So you will not get a better kernel exploit than this one for quite a while. Obviously, all of that is coming from a very trusted source here in the scene, so I absolutely believe that he is on point there. Now, if you're wondering which versions of the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5 is affected with this, well, I put out this tweet, and the version that I had had for the PS5 was, was that it seemed to work on the PS5 up to 10.60, but anything beyond 10.60, it would not be working on. And for the PlayStation 4, it actually goes up to version 12.50. So when I originally posted this, I got this from him as a source, and it did match the release notes, which was interesting here, but he did clarify down here was 12.50, is when it got patched and that he made a mistake. Now, there is this great little Reddit post, uh, Homeboy2020, and they have pretty much summarized all of this up. So the first update that they had was a correction here was that it was usable up to 12.02, meaning it was patched in 12.50. And if I come back over here, we can see that this obviously matches up. 12.50 is when it got patched. And so again, it would be usable on a PlayStation 4 up to 12.02. Now, there was another update here that says, seems Lua may be a requirement to run it for now. A game disc is needed or the digital demo. 
of the Lua compatible games. And this right here is referring to the remote Lua loader. And if you just scroll down through this, then you'll see here is all of the titles that are currently supported. And on the very last homebrew news, I mentioned that these were also recently added. And the great thing about that is, is that these games tend to not be as expensive as some of these other ones and just already have bought one of the expensive discs to test on. Deco has been working on implementing it with Lua and it can work on 9.00 to skip the USB drive itself. So for those of you that are still stuck inserting and taking back out your USB drive, that would be helpful there. And I assume this means PS3 will be used on 9.00 to 9.60 for a similar 6.72 experience. For those of you that did not like the USB drive or just didn't want to use one of those ESP series of devices. Now, since this post, there has actually been another update. There was a proof of concept that was being tested on PS5, 5.xx, but we've since had a video of that running. So here is a video that master underscore S9 released. And as you can see right over here, they are in a command prompt on Windows. So what they're doing over here is they're just running SOCAT and providing an IP address as well as 9020 for the port. And then they're sending a proof of concept.f file. And we just go ahead and let this video play out. You can see a little bit more of this in action. So they left off the one there. So it was 9021. Down here at the bottom, you can see that it does state that double free has been achieved. And they also posted another video where they showed one of their loaders that is running SOCAT in case you don't want to work with the command prompt. And from here, they go ahead and they send over that proof of concept.f file. And as you can see right here, down at the very bottom, we have double free achieved there. And there does seem to be other people that has also got this to work, as you can see here from Justice League Forever. Double free POC worked on a PS5 7.61, and there is that command. So we're just going to have to wait and see how this all turns out. But thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out. So on a side note, there is pre-orders available starting tomorrow for those of us in the United States and I believe Canada. And so I was just wondering, is there anybody that watches the channel here that is planning on picking up one of these Nintendo 2 Switch bundles? If so, let me know down below. Thanks. Bye-bye.